let's talk about order of operations. What is it? Well, imagine you and your best friend go to the food court, you buy a meal, it's $10, she buys a meal, it's $20, and you want to split the cost. So 10 plus 20 divided by 2. Now, depending on which operation you do first, the addition or the division, you're going to end up with different numbers. Well, that's not really good because then if every time someone does a calculation, they end up with a different number, our world will be in chaos. So that's where order of operation really comes in. It tells us exactly which operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, which one to do first when we're given a string of numbers and we have to calculate it. A lot of you would have already learned order of operations or bed mass in the past. So if you're very comfortable with it, feel free to move on ahead. But if you're still a little uncomfortable or you just want a really quick review, please pay attention to this lesson. Okay, so when we have a bunch of numbers that we need to calculate, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and so on, we follow this acronym called bed mass. Now, B stands for brackets, meaning that the first thing we're going to do is look for brackets. If we see brackets, we are going to calculate or simplify whatever is inside the brackets first. Once we're done with brackets, we're going to look at exponents. That's what E stands for. So these are your powers. So 2 to the power of 2, 4 to the power of 3. Now, one thing that they don't really tell you often is that exponents also includes square roots. So if you see a square root, you'll also deal with it in this E step. Once you're done with brackets and you're done with exponents, now it's down to division and multiplication. So D stands for division. M stands for multiplication. Now, don't let this trick you. Division doesn't always come before multiplication. Sometimes multiplication comes before division. These two are on the same level, meaning that once you're done dealing with brackets, once you're done dealing with exponents, you are going to go from left to right in your string of numbers, and whichever one you see first, whether it's division or multiplication, you're going to simplify that first. Trick number two that a lot of students get confused on is this division part. Now, if I just have the simple number 9 divided by 3, that's straightforward. That's a division. But sometimes they're going to be a little trickier. Sometimes they're going to have 9 fraction over 3. Fractions are the same thing as division. This is the same thing as 9 divided by 3. All right, once you're done dealing with multiplication and division, next we are going to deal with addition. That's what A stands for and subtraction, that's what S stands for. And again, these two are on the same kind of level here. So these are on the same level, meaning that we're gonna go from left to right, and whichever one we see first, whether it's addition or subtraction, we're gonna handle that and deal with that. Let's take a look at this example here. We are asked to simplify. Whenever you see simplify, that actually means the same thing as calculate, or evaluate. Okay, so you just want to simplify, meaning clean up as much as you can, crunch it up so that it's the smallest final answer. Okay, so we have this giant chain of calculations, there's addition, subtraction, powers, brackets, all these kind of things. So we have to follow bed mass. Okay, so starting with brackets, that's B, do we have any brackets in this expression? Yes, we do. It's right here. So we need to simplify whatever is inside the brackets. What about everything else? Well, we're not going to touch anything else. Everything else is going to stay the exact same, so I'm just going to copy it out. Okay, now as promised, let's deal with the brackets. What is 3 plus 2? Write that down. Well, that's just a 5. Now, this looks a little weird. It looks like I have 2... 5 squared, or is it 25 squared? It looks a little confusing. So what we normally do is, even though we dealt with whatever's inside the bracket, we are going to keep the brackets there, just so it looks a little bit clearer as to where this 5 belongs. Okay, now we're done with B. Next, let's deal with E, which stands for exponents. Do we have any exponents here? Well, yes we do. We have this 5 to the power of 2, or 5 squared. So that we're going to have to simplify as 5 times 5. What about everything else? Copy it out. Okay, now as promised, let's deal with the exponent. 5 times 5 is 25. Again, this looks confusing. Is this 2 times 25 or is this 225? 
That's why a lot of times, again, we will just leave it as brackets. And now we've dealt with this exponent. Next up, we have to deal with both division and multiplication. They belong on the same level. So we're just going to deal with it from left to right. Whenever we see a division or multiplication, we're going to simplify that. So going from left to right, oh, I see a multiplication, so we're going to have to simplify that. But if I keep going, I'm also going to see a multiplication here. That's 2 times 25. That's what the brackets mean. And I also see 6 divided by 2. So since these are all separated by pluses, I know eventually I'm going to have to go down the list from left to right and simplify them. So just because I'm lazy and I don't want to write out all the steps, I'm going to simplify them all at once. So we have the 15, which we're just going to copy out. Now let's deal with each one. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 times 25, that is 50, plus 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So notice that even though bed mass, D looks like it's before M, we're just going to go left to right, whichever one we see first, that's the one we're dealing with first. So we're done with division and multiplication. Now, addition, subtraction, same thing. So we want to deal with them. They're on the same level. So whichever one comes first, that's the one we're going to deal with. So here, if I go left to right, I see a subtraction first. Some of you guys might be thinking, oh, Jess, can I simplify this and skip, skip some steps and do these additions first? For addition, subtraction, I recommend doing it step by step. Otherwise, you could run into problems. So going from left to right, we're going to deal with this 15 minus 12, which is going to be 3 copy everything else out. Now again, we're going to go from left to right, deal with this, 3 plus 50, that's going to give us 53, so let's write that down. And then finally, we have this plus 3, and then going left to right, 53 plus 3, that's going to give us 56. And this is the final answer once we crunch up this ugly looking expression, We've simplified it down to a 56. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.